So here we are with the pleats. I've done two or three of them to show you. Um, starting to be formed and there's the three inches each end and the four inch spaces. So take a needle. If you push, press that together, push down, push down to form the pleats. When you feel the bottom of the back room, take it together like that. Now you can either do a stab stitch or a bar stitch. This, this would be a stab stitch, this one, so you don't actually see the stitch at the front of the pleats, or this one is a stitch a bar stitch that goes across the front of the pleats. So I'll show you both. Um, start off with your knot well hidden in the um, pleat. Make sure the pleats are all even. And just below the backroom do a bar across. Don't try and sew through the backroom because you'll be sewing through six layers of backroom plus fabric and you'll never ever get the, well you will if you've got a thimble and things, but it make life a lot more difficult. And use the thread doubled over, because this really has to be strong. And then, so there you are with the bar stitch, and then take the needle up to the side, because again it's very important that you finish off with a good sturdy finish so it doesn't over time unpick scissors and then I'll show you the stab stitch <coughs> so again take the pleat make them nice pleats pop the needle in the knot well concealed. And then stab stitch. Whoops. Backwards and forwards. Just again, just below the back room. You need to do it three or four times with um, a double thread. If your needle is a bit stiff to get through, just push down on a hard surface or find yourself a thimble. So you push down like that and it will push the needle through for you. And again, cast off well to the side. Whoops. Double threads more inclined to knot. Uh, so don't have the thread too long because it will, it will knot just as I've done. Okay, so. I'm going to finish one with pinch pleats and I'm going to make the other one a, a goblet. So again, take, take your pleat, hide your knot down in the bottom of the, well out of sight in the pleat. And then take your first pleat, like this. What you've got to do is, oh, my knot isn't hidden, just a minute. What you've got to do is sew across the pleats here. So do one side first. Two or three stitches. And then the other side. 
for extra strength you can go back through your through the loop of the thread here uh, because it does help to make a, a stronger knot. And then cast off again at the back of the curtain where it won't notice. So that's that. Uh, and now I'll just show you this one's going to be the goblet. So get it nicely positioned. I'll lift my body behind. So stuff the goblet with wadding or, or some um, interlining or anything that you can get a bit more. There. What is a nice feature is if you have a coordinating piece of fabric, you can just pop it over the top there. Uh, and it just makes a little, if you put more wadding in, makes just a little dome in a, in a contrasting fabric. So, there you are. Hmm. Once you finish them, you need to do a little bit of fiddling just to get it all right. There you are, with one goblet and four pinch pleats on your curtains.